Okay, for 12b, part I, uh, again, uh, we're going to use the general growth formula here. We're given that we start with 500 insects in a certain population, and it says after 23 and a half or 23.5 days, then it's 800 insects. Okay, so we need to uh, figure out what the specific growth formula is for this one, so we got to find the k value, and we can do that by plugging in all the given information. So 500 insects would be the initial amount. The K is what we're trying to solve for, and 23.5 is what we're going to put in this time for the time. Uh, that's in terms of days. Then after the 23 and a half days, it grows to 800 insects. So we put 800 in over here. So now we have everything that we need in order to solve for K. First, we're going to divide both sides by 500. So when we do that, we get exactly 1.6, and this is 23.5 uh, k. So that's an ending decimal there, just 1.6. Then, like before, we want to clear out the, the e and get k by itself, so we have to take the natural log of both sides, and that's going to allow us to uh, remove the the E because ln and E are going to cancel each other out. Technically ln and E is equal to 1 and because our exponent property says we can bring all that down in front that's actually why that works. Uh, so we'll get natural log 1.6 equals 23.5 K and then we divide both sides by 23.5 uh, and so we'll get ln 1.6 uh, show that, that step there, 23.5, we'll divide both sides by that. And then when we put that in the calculator, once again, you can just round to four places with that one. And when you put that in the calculator, you're going to get 0 0.0200 with some more decimals around the four places. It would, it would just be that, actually. And so now, when we come back and put our formula, we're going to put this back into the, again, we're still going to use the main growth formula. We're just going to come back and we're going to put a 500 in here and then we're going to use 0.02t and that's going to be the specific growth formula for this. So we just get a 0.02 uh, as a result there. So now that we have that complete, so hopefully you have all these steps, I'm going to erase this and then we have the second part. So now we're going to do uh, double I. So double I we need to use this formula and it says what is the insect population after 10 days? So that means that we've got to put a 10 now in here for uh, the t value. So 0.02 uh, and then times 10. Once again they're asking us to round this to the nearest whole number. Let's start with this. We're going to multiply that together. So 500 that's going to move the decimal place over one place, so it's going to be 0 0.2. And the whole thing, we'll just put that into our calculator. And we do that, we'll get 610.7. Uh, they want you to round to the nearest whole number, so we're going to round up because that number is greater than 0.5 or above, which means that we would put 611 and, you know, we would, we would say insects, of course, for this one because that's, uh, that's what we're talking about here. Uh, and so that's an estimate for how many insects would be there uh, after 10 days from when the experiment began. So when it started with 500 on the first day, then 10 days later, it's estimated there'd be 611. That makes sense because if it, if it takes 23 and a half days to grow to 800, that means we definitely should have a number less than 800 since we haven't reached that number of days yet.